I'm sick, man. I'm freaking sick to my stomach. Watching that Super Bowl had to be tough for all Niner fans because it was tough for me. And honestly, having the Rams win, like, made me feel some type of way. And it made me feel that that should have been us, man. See, that should have been the Niners holding up that trophy, that Lombardi trophy. And the fact that it wasn't makes me feel upset. I'm going to be honest. I couldn't sleep well Sunday night. Thinking that Sean McVay won before Kyle Shanahan. All credit to Sean McVay. I don't have nothing personally against him. Um, although he's just, you know, the Rams head coach. But I, I mean, I guess you can say he is more likable than Pete Carroll. Um, that should have been the Niners. And you can say that, you know, every step of the way from 2019, hell, you could go back 2012. It's painful, man. And, you know, as a Niner fan who was born in 92, so the last Super Bowl, I was two years old. So you can say, I've never witnessed a Super Bowl win. And I'm sure I'm speaking for a lot of young Niner fans or younger that have just witnessed disappointment, have witnessed heartbreak, terrible years. But I know one thing. The reason I'm feeling like this is because I'm I'm crazy. <laughs> you have to be a little crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm I'm just a crazy fan of this team. And I don't know, it's just something about them that whenever they win, I get into this different mode. And when they lose, I just have nightmares of what could have been. That's what this Super Bowl that the Rams just won made me feel. It's almost like a pulse check, too. Like, how crazy of a fan are you that you're sleeping, you're losing sleep over someone else winning the Super Bowl? And honestly, I wouldn't want it any other way. Absolutely not. Because I do feel that the Niners have the guys, the group, to do what the Rams just pulled off. I do think that they have the correct coach, the um, front office. This year was evident that they have the right guys. Starting the year three and five, that would have put 99% of the teams away. But this team, knowing what they're capable of, were able, at least able to persevere that, get to the NFC Championship game. Obviously, to lead to a disappointing kind of end of the year. But I still hold faith that they have the right group of guys in that locker room. Still a lot of question marks, like what Trey Lance can bring. What our defense is going to look like with a lot of guys, you know, in free agency. But you retain these core guys, Debo, Nick, Bosa. You have something special with these core group of guys where you're able to compete every year. You just have to start better, Kyle Shanahan. But I'm so looking forward to... 2022, 2023, um, I wouldn't want it any other way. So as I lose sleep now, maybe down the road, maybe, just maybe, we'll be holding up that Lombardi. Maybe.